Okay, everybody. So this is for the orthogonal devices ER301. This is Flux of FluxWithIt.com. Uh, I'm just going to go through this custom sampler that I built, and uh, I'm sure there'll be improvements to come, but for now, this is how it's laid out. So this is the Flux Phi SC sampler, uh, SC standing for sidechain. And uh, basically what I've done here is the top level controls, you're going to assign your gate and then your slice CV. So the gate, easily just select that, you know, press S1 and then you can assign whatever gate you want going there, your slice. Then we have our speed control, which is going to be the, the playback speed of the sample. We have sample rate control, so you can assign that to a knob or LFO or whatever you want. Um... Then we have our bit depth, and we have our side chain. Now, the side chain is not strictly a side chain amount. More so, it's an offset of the envelope follower. And then we have our side chain on and off. So, to give an example of what I've done here, I'm going to open this up. Okay, let's look at the scope view real quick. So, here we are. Here's the top level. And as we go through, you're going to see uh, we have our sample player, um, got a bunch of VCAs, all kinds of good stuff. So, uh, yeah, so it's not insanely deep, um, but uh, yeah, it, it shouldn't be it shouldn't be the end of the world for you to edit this however you like. Let's go inside. Now we have a variable speed sample player. Uh, the controls are all mapped up. Uh, I have it with a 6 millisecond fade. I just feel like it sounds better that way. Um, sample rate here. So we're running through essentially a sample and hold with a sine wave oscillator. Um, and then we have some controls on that on the inside. And then we have our bit rate, which is essentially a quantizer. And I played with a bunch of different settings on this. Uh, at one point, I was doing 4,960 uh, 4, levels um, and emulating uh, pure 12-bit. What I've decided uh, instead is to do, basically to set it up by ear, um, what I felt was pleasing and what I felt the control was more pleasing. So uh, even though it says 12-bit on here, that it's not 100% 12-bit. It's actually my, um, my own uh, fun time with that. So let's take a listen real quick. So as you can hear right now, I just have a sample that's been sliced up. And uh, we're stepping through that using the Fluxus 1 sequencer to uh, sequence. Now, uh, what we can do here is we can drop the sample rate. And I have that mapped to some controls here so I can... And the bit rate, the bit depth. This side chain offset. We're going to turn on the side chain. The way we do that is just hit fire. And what we're doing here is we're actually I'll pause this for a second. What we're actually doing here is we're ducking the uh, sample rate and the bit depth um, by whatever amount we really want. And as I change this offset, you're going to hear it get more dramatic. go really extreme or you can go more subtle with it okay now if you want you can go inside of here and there's an envelope follower so you can adjust that attack and release time as you want to uh, change how that um, sidechain sound works and you can also if we uh, 
if we go inside of here, we can go to say our, uh, let's say we go to the bit depth here and we can actually select the sidechain input. We can mute that. So now I'm only going to be uh, doing the sidechain on the sample rate. So we'll hear that. changing here if I hop in here unmute it let's go back in mute that and it sounds really good when you uh, adjust the sample rate to taste let's say about 8k down to uh, 0 0.9 and whatnot, uh, definitely be uh, use the fine control, and you'll find some really uh, nice areas inside of there, in the really fine areas. I'll be refining the controls as I go. And that is the... Uh, Flux 5 sidechain sampler. So, yeah, it'll be a free download.